New attractions at Disneyland just keep on coming. This is D-Free Ticket News. Hey guys, it's Jordan, I'm back. Sorry for the long hiatus, uh, but we got some really big news, or at least I think it's big news, so let's discuss what this will mean for the future of Disneyland. So Disneyland today announced that a brand new attraction will be coming to Mickey's Toontown in 2022, and it's Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. For those of you who are not familiar with that ride at all, it's actually not even open yet. It was announced a couple of years back to be a new addition to Disney's Hollywood Studios in Walt Disney World in Florida. It's actually not yet finished. In fact, today they also announced that although it was supposed to be open this fall, it's actually going to be opening sometime next year. But that doesn't really matter because it's coming to Disneyland in 2022. This is so exciting. Uh, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway is Disney's first ever attraction that's actually themed after Mickey Mouse. It's kind of crazy when you think about it that it's been this long before they've ever had a single attraction based on him. It's a family-friendly attraction that will take guests into the land, that slightly two-dimensional land of the new Mickey and Minnie animated cartoons that you can find on Disney Channel. The ride itself will utilize a new technology that Disney is terming two and a half D because it's not completely flat, it's not completely 3D because it doesn't require 3D glasses, but it's somewhere in between and you really feel like you're in the world of the cartoons. The details are still kind of sketchy right now. We don't know a lot about it. They haven't released a lot of information. They did say that there is a new theme song that accompanies this attraction that will get stuck in your head and that's not necessarily a bad thing. So that's why I'm personally really, really excited. When I first heard about this attraction, I thought it sounded really, really cool. And I thought, man, wouldn't it be awesome if they brought that to Disneyland? And a lot of other people thought so too. And there had been rumors that maybe they were thinking about doing it, and now it's confirmed they are planning on bringing it to Mickey's Toontown. So what does this mean for the future of that area? I don't understand why, but people for years have bemoaned Mickey's Toontown and have spread rumors of its imminent closure for one reason or another. In fact, before Galaxy's Edge was ever announced, the rumor mill said that they were actually going to be removing Toontown to put Star Wars Galaxy's Edge there. Clearly that was not true, but every person I talk to tends to say, oh, it's a stupid area of the park, no one's ever there. Like, funny, because whenever we're there, it's always a very, very busy area of the park. I mean, Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin is actually a fairly popular attraction. A lot of people enjoy it, and it always has a pretty long wait. It's also one of only five attractions in the Disneyland Resort that are family friendly and do not have a height restriction. And Toontown itself has a lot of areas for kids to go play in, whether it's in downtown Toontown or Goofy's Playhouse, or um, even to go and meet Mickey and Minnie, you always know that they're there. And in the morning, it's a great place to go and find some of the other classic characters wandering around, like Goofy or Pluto and things like that. So it's always been very, very popular. It just doesn't have a lot of attractions in it. Well, that's where this is hopefully going to make a difference. I know that there are some people that may start saying this. They haven't yet, but just in case, I kind of wanted to give my take on what I think is going to happen to Toontown now that they're building this new ride. A lot of people may look at it and say, well, Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin is not current. It's not a movie that a lot of kids nowadays are familiar with, so they'll probably just take that right out and replace it. I don't think that's going to be the case. Although Roger Rabbit is not a current Disney film, and a lot of people are not super familiar with it anymore, all of Mickey's Toontown was based on the idea of Toontown in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So it would be really weird to then remove that ride and still make this whole area make sense. Roger Rabbit is one of the few rides in Disney parks where you can come off of it You've ridden through all these crazy streets of this imaginative land. And you come out and you're still there in this whole land. And so I don't see them taking that out for that reason. But there's more. If you actually look at an aerial map of Disneyland, you'll actually see that the show building for Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin is not a particularly large one. In fact, when you take into consideration the whole south portion of the building is actually just for the queue, which is large and heavily themed, it's actually a smaller show building than The Little Mermaid in California Adventure. So there's not a lot of room there. The show building for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway at Hollywood Studios is massive. 
and so it would never fit in that small of a building. And there's nowhere to expand. Once you hit that back wall of Toontown, you're backstage. There's a service road, there's a studio building, there's the area where they actually shoot off the fireworks. Like, there is no room to expand out back. And off to the side of Roger Rabbit is, it's a small world. There's nowhere to go. So they're not gonna tear it out for an area that's too small to do anything in. But if you go to the other side of Toontown, there's actually a new kind of backstage area, little miniature um, expansion area, thanks to Galaxy's Edge, that they could tap into and potentially put that building there. It may mean that they would take out things like Chippendale's Treehouse, or Donald's Boat, or even Gadget's Go Coaster. But to be honest, if they removed any of those attractions, I don't know that a lot of people would care too much. They're cute, but they're not classic, and so their removal would be okay in order to make room for that sort of attraction. So I think that's the most likely thing that they will do, but I mean, I could be wrong, but it makes a lot more sense. And besides that, they like to have lands in their parks that have at least two major attractions to draw people in and take them to different parts of the land. Even Galaxy's Edge is opening with two attractions in two different locations. So if they close down Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin, although there would be other attractions in Toontown, they wouldn't be as big as Runway Railway. And so why not just leave Roger Rabbit and add this one in on the other end? Then you draw in a whole new group of people and you have more reasons for people to go back and really explore this underserved area of the park. And so this is why I'm really looking forward to it. Toontown, I think is super cute. I remember when it first opened and I think it's such a good idea for them to build this area where the tunes live, these classic characters that everyone knows and loves, and that you get to be in their world and see how zany and crazy it is. I think that's wonderful. And so I think it's so awesome that for the first time really since the area opened, they're going to be showing it some tender love and care and adding something new. And that also gives us good news and hope for the future for some other uh, areas of the park that need a little bit of love. Go ahead and tell me what you think about Mickey's Toontown in the comments. Maybe you agree with me, maybe you think that I'm totally crazy and that it doesn't matter, it should just go. And that's totally your opinion. But let me know what you think. I think that this is such awesome news and I'm so excited for it. So the new things just don't stop coming to the Disneyland Resort and that's awesome. Make sure you like and subscribe to get more of our videos. I am gonna be doing better about getting these posted on a weekly basis. I have a whole bunch of ideas that I've been working on to get more uh, videos worked out for you guys, to help you with your planning for future vacations as well as these news videos as well so that you can know exactly what's going on at the Disneyland Resort. You can also visit us at our website, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for sticking around and bye.